Hi guys, it's Marisha, and a lot of you know someone who has graduated, or you are graduating yourself and you want to know how to make a graduation book cake. I was asked to make this really awesome cake, and I wanted to take you guys along with me throughout the process. It's really, really fun and a little bit easier than it looks. I'm starting off with a 9 by 13 inch sheet cake, and I'm going to need a half inch of cake board left over on the right side where the pages are going to show. So I cut that off, and then the left side is going going to be flush up against the cake. Now I'm rolling out some white fondant and I need this to be about 4 inches in height because these are going to be the pages to the book. It's going to wrap all around the cake but I'm leaving the back border of the cake open. So it's just going to be on the bottom, the right side with the excess board and then the top part. I'm going to make the illusion of pages by rolling a pizza cutter across there. I rolled out some black fondant and this is going to be the top, the cover of the cake. Now this has to be the measurement of the cake going across as well as the height. So going across this cake is about 9 inches and then it's 4 inches in height. So I had to make sure that this black fondant would be enough to cover the left side which is the border of the cake as well as the whole top of the cake and we need a half inch excess which should match up with that bottom board that we cut from earlier. I used my fondant mat here. This is exactly what fondant mats are great for because you can really place the fondant on top of the cake without messing up. On the left side, I need that little indentation there, so I'm going to use a ruler to make a straight line. And then just with my finger, while the cake is somewhat soft and the fondant is soft, I'm going to make a good, good crease in there. So I'm going to cut out some black fondant, and this is going to stick right onto the board with a little bit of, I used corn syrup actually to act as edible glue and it worked perfectly. And then just make sure that you do all of the three exposed edges of that cake board. You can decorate the cake however you would like. I did some red stripes along the side and I finished it off with a black strand of fondant. And then this cake is going to have a gold design. I don't know what it would be called, but <laughs> I think it's really cute. Now if you're doing lettering on the side, which you should, make sure to do the stripes after that. I had to actually take my stripes off and fix it later on, but it worked out. Now you're going to need a graduation hat topper, so I'm going to use actual board here, a cake board. This is 8 inches all around because I'm using a 6 inch cake. I put a little bit of corn syrup on the board and I'm going to cover the whole thing in red fondant. This is my 6 inch cake. It's optional if you carve it or shape it into like a dome shape. You can leave it as is. And I'm going to cover this whole cake in some red fondant as well. And this does have a cake board on the bottom. And I'm also going to finish the cake with a red border along the bottom just to make it look a little bit more clean and finished. And then you can place that right onto the cake and add that cardboard topper. For the tassel, I'm going to take a black strand of fondant that I rolled out and I'm going to twist it together, cut it, and then I rolled out a bunch of other little thin, thin, thin pieces of black fondant. And I'm going to cut those together and bunch them and make a nice sharp cut at the bottom of those as well and then combine the two pieces together now you'll see here that i finished it with a red piece of fondant which looks so stupid it actually reminds me of like a ponytail with a red ponytail holder so i went back and i swapped the red out for a piece of black fondant and then finished it off with a piece of fondant on top this is the finished cake when your steamer breaks, go ahead and use an iron and put it on that steamer setting and, <laughs> and steam away. I made the diploma just by rolling up a piece of white fondant with tissue in between so that it could stay nice and stiff to look like an actual piece of rolled paper. And that is my graduation gig. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more fun videos and let me know what you want to see down below. If you graduated, congratulations. Couture and a graduation cake. Bye guys!
Hey guys, it's Marisha, and it's getting crazy hot outside. Summer is definitely knocking down the door with a vengeance. During times like this, I love ice.